This is our processional cross. It was dedicated in 2013. It's made by Brian Catling, who is not only a British sculptor, but also a poet and novelist. Processional crosses are used by a verger to process in and out in front of the priests during our major services. Um, technically, the person carrying a cross in a procession is called a, a crucifer, so sometimes that term is used. Back in pre-COVID times, we used this cross about five or six times a week, and we'll probably soon be back to using it that often. The cross replaces a much more traditional, much heavier silver cross, uh, which we still have, but doesn't get used very much anymore. The idea behind the design here uh, is that this is a cross of poverty. Although it's made of cast aluminum and covered in gold, the design is one of actually quite primitive wood. I think it's an odd affectation that we have that somehow very neatly cut uh, timber from a 20th century, 21st century uh, builder's merchant would have been used in the uh, first century Jerusalem for public executions. So this is more seems to me like what a cross might have been actually in the in the day. The the artist tells us that the third bit of wood in the middle is an allusion to St. Martin tearing its, his cloak in half. I'm not sure everyone sees that, but having looked at the cross long enough, I start to kind of get that uh, that idea. Not everyone liked this rustic design when we first started using it, and I'd occasionally get uh, odd comments from visitors when I was a verger. But that's always the case with art, I think, particularly more modern art or anything that represents a change over what people are used to. I mean, objects that are totally free of comment are, are so boring that it's hard to even consider them art. But most people seem to like this, and here it is. This is our processional cross. <laughs> 